Good morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is Pastor Phil Lewis once again with your morning meditation. Uh, this morning, I want to talk about um, praying in the spirit, praying in the spirit. We are called to fight in the spirit. Um, Paul says in Ephesians 6 and 12, that our fight, amen, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. And then when you go down a little further and look at verse 18, it tells us, pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep praying for all of God's people. This is, this is how we fight in the spirit. This is how we struggle. We have to realize our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Uh, in that uh, section of Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 20, it concerns all the spiritual protection that's available to all of us when we're doing battle with the devil. All of those who've committed their lives, if you committed your life to Jesus Christ, you should know that the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil are locked together in mortal combat, locked together in mortal battle. And Christians, whether you like it or not, are thrust right into the cutting edge of that conflict. Many of us um, are pacifists when it comes to earthly warfare, but no, none of us can be pacifists when it comes to the matter of spiritual warfare. Once we enlist in the army of God, once we have become disciples of Jesus Christ, once we have become Christians, we must be expected to train in the art of spiritual warfare, offensively and defensively. And at certain times and occasions in the Christian life, we find ourselves in a battle that demands hand-to-hand -hand combat with the forces of evil. And unless we know how to handle these situations, we shall easily be overthrown. Most of the time we get caught off guard when Satan comes against us and not realizing that this is a spiritual battle and we try to battle in the flesh, but we need to learn to go directly into the spiritual battle. We need to know to go directly into prayer uh, with uh, to God to overpower the enemy. The key to it is we fight from a position of victory. We don't fight from the position of being a victim, but we fight from the position of already being the victor. The Bible shows us that the devil is powerless against the almighty God. The, against uh, they turn and, and we turn our attention on others who are his followers, you and you and I. And notice how many times the word against appears in Ephesians 10 through 13. It occurs six times at all, showing that anyone, that when anyone comes over to the side of Jesus the Christ, they are immediately identified as being for God and against the devil. There can be no compromise. We must um, struggle in the spirit. We must constantly examine ourselves to see what we are doing and how we are doing it. Um, we cannot... Uh, coexist with the evil in us. We must clear it out. And we clear it out through prayer and through um, being for God. If we are for God, to be for God is to be against Satan, the world, and our own flesh. Wow. 
Amen. 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 Um, hopefully that helped you this morning. Sure helped me as I was going through these scriptures today. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, gracious and loving God, help us all to get our perspective clear. Train us in the art of spiritual warfare so that we will be able to resist every onslaught of the devil and his demonic hordes and come through every conflict, conflict victoriously. Touch us now in the mighty matchless name of Jesus that we may recognize when Satan, the world, or our, our flesh comes up against us and that we may struggle and fight and pray in the spirit from our position of victory. We already have victory in you. Allow us to know that by your presence and your love. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer and we offer this prayer up in the mighty matchless name, nature, and character of Jesus the Christ we pray and for his glory we say together, amen. 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 God bless each and every one of you. I see you out there. Let us fight the good fight. As Paul said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. Let us fight the good fight of faith as we go about our day today. God bless you. I see you out there, Reverend Brian Bailey. God bless you. Uh, David McCoy, I see you. Kimberly Jinx Johnson. God bless each and every one of you. Mother Vidalia King, my Sister Donna Coleman, Shonda Thompson, I see all of you. Uh, every now and then I like to give you all a shout out and say your name. Amen. I don't mean to sound like uh, Miss Nancy in Romper Room. Uh, my wife says that's what that sounds like sometimes. But I like to give you a shout out. God bless you and keep you as my prayer. I love each and every one of you. But remember this, God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed. Take care.